Hello my name is Joy Boy and welcome to the best way to waste your time. Dummies vs Noobs is a Roblox wave survival game. And I guess it's a lot like Decaying Winter because you have to defend against waves of enemies while also getting new weapons to defend yourself. But it is different because in DW the person who is playing has got to go around to find the weapons and stuff while in this game you get money for each passing round and you use that to buy or upgrade weapons if you get what I'm saying. If not the sucks to suck go play DW yourself it's a great game, but anyways I'll explain more as time goes on but that's really all you need to know other than the fact that the waves get more and more harder as time goes on, but that information is classified for actual dummies. So I've picked the assault class, but there are 5 classes total. The classes include the engineer, the scout, the medic, the recon, and the assault. Assault has accurate gun, recon has long gun, scout has double gun, engineer has machine gun, and medic has no gun. Or maybe it does, I haven't played it but I'm too lazy to go check so how about you go do it? Get back on track now. No! No! Please no! No! Don't do it! Got he! Double kill. Do it. Do it. Oh, baby, a triple. On top of all of that, this game is grind free. Almost every gun upgrade is unlocked on level 4, so you probably won't even have enough money to even get it in the first place. The money in this game is reserves, but I put a ton of time into this clip and there is no way I'm deleting it, so sucks to suck again, deal with it. Money in this game is Robux. And I know what you might be thinking, and I did too. But the Robux in this game are fake and won't use any of your real Robux. So don't be afraid to spend your fake robux on upgrades. In fact, there are so many upgrades in this game that I'm not going to go over any of them except for the ones that I use because of relevance. So haha, one of these relevant upgrades is the grapple hook. The grapple hook snatches up enemies and yoinks them over to the player to slaughter. And then there is the overcharger. But anyway, if your entire team is trash and everyone dies then the game has a literal outro. Thing looks like it was cut straight from Breaking Bad actually for real for real. Finally, there are the enemies. The developers just had to come out with a major update while I was in the middle of making this video, so there is a ton of new enemies and stuff so I guess I got to do that now. There are quite a lot of bosses in this game and even if you complete an entire run you won't encounter every boss. Bosses are randomized in certain tiers. There are the first bosses. There is Deadless, who can teleport behind you and one-shots you. There is Tempest, who can shoot lightning. And my single cellid organism for a brain can't understand how to kill him. The second bosses are quite a bit harder than the first bosses and require at least one brain cell. The first of the two is Fusilier, who launches grenades at the player. And Prometheus is the TF2 Pyro. Finally there are the final bosses Achilles, Trident, and Sparta. Archils is a sniper on steroids, Trident grapples you to a slow, gruesome death, and Sparta used the whole speedometer. And there is a dialogue that explains everything about the boss when they spawn in. Then there is Mastermind who was a giant mech. Next on the to-do list there are three game modes. The first one is Siege. This game mode is the normal game mode and all players are fighting against the noobs. The second one is Mastermind. This game mode is the same as Siege except for there is a player that gets to control what enemies spawn. I know it sounds fun, and it is when you're the Mastermind. When you aren't he though, man you just wish you were dead. The newest addition to the team is Attrition in which you defend points on the map from the noobs. So that's all of the game modes so far and now I can finally get to the enemies. The first type of noob is the infantry. These guys were easy kills until the newest update, in which now they are super buffed because they can throw grenades that pretty much one tap anyone in a thousand feet. The troops after that are the saboteur. These nerds are very annoying to deal with. For some reason they have enough health to tank a melee shot, they have stupid aim considering that the gun that they are using is pretty much the opposite of steady aim, and on top of that if there is a turret nearby the saboteur will latch a little bug thing that will stop your turret from working. In fact, if you do nothing about it, the bug will eventually destroy the turret. For someone with a MADS kit, this is no big deal, but for any other turret, that is 14 reserves down the drain. Next come the shielders. 
The guys seem harmless, and they kind of are. They are equipped with a shield in a dream. These guys will march straight up to your face, and the whole time you would be laughing at their face because they can attack you from your tower. And the moment that you see the cold, dead look in his eyes you know that you're screwed. Why you may ask? Well I forgot to mention the fact that these guys have shotguns that will kill you instantaneously. The only way to take these guys down is by shooting through a small hole in the shield, hiding an open arm that holds his one pump, or getting a teammate to take him out from behind. The next troop is the dreaded cloaker. These guys don't have any guns, shields, no nothing. The reason why they are probably the most feared unit in the game is because, like the shotgunner, if they get close to you you're dead. The reason why this cloaker is more feared than the shielder is because, while the shielder moves at a snail's pace, these bad boys get around at Mach 10 and you are not aware of them until they are right on top of you because they are silent, until they kill you, then your ears are blessed with a loud humming that is so annoying that I want to slap that Robloxian smile clean off their face. Next in line we've got the sniper. These noobs are equipped with aimbot and probably would be the hardest troop in the game if it wasn't for the fatal flaws in it to keep it balanced. The first of two being that it can be easily spotted on the map because a massive star will appear on the sniper. The second one is that there is a red beam that follows the player that it is about to shoot, so if you notice it on you, and it isn't hard to miss, all you have to do is to get out of sight from the sniper. There are also tanks, and these behemoths are very slow, but are able to launch missiles at players and are equipped with a minigun on top. These hunks of metal are only able to be killed in two ways. The first is to take out three red containers on the back of it. Doing so will result in an immediate kill. The other, boring way to do it is to take it out with a RPG. This method isn't suggested though because these tanks deflect them so the only way to deal damage is to hit the ground next to it. Then there are the mechs. These mechs are operated by, you guessed it, the operator. This troop has quite a bit of HP but they are completely useless outside of their mechs. When they are inside their mechs though, it's a different story. These mechs are armed, quite literally with their two machine gun arms. These guns are deadly when they are close up, but most of the time the mechs will stay back and will shoot from afar, greatly reducing the actual intake of damage a player will receive. These chunky units have quite a bit of HP, and the player can shoot it with an RPG to take it out with ease, but if you don't have one you can also use your guns and shoot into the cockpit to eliminate the operator, rendering the mech useless, and destroying it. Now to talk about the new update. The new update brought a lot to the table, as if I didn't already have enough on my plate. The new noobs introduced though include the gunner, engineer, grenadier, and jetpackers. The gunner is a super tanky noob that is fully suited out and carries our massive gun. This noob will target charge up his gun locked. and fire it at its target when it locks onto one. If you're still in its line of sight when the bullet fire begins then things are about to get spicy. Otherwise just dip behind a wall and he will either stop charging it up or just attack the wall. The next one is the engineer. These noobs are the most annoying in the entire game because they set up camp by placing a turret in a spawner. This spawner single-handedly makes the engineer a pain to deal with. Reason being that this spawn, as it says in the name, spawns enemies. These enemies can grow in numbers quickly, as it isn't limited to the amount noobs that it can spawn. Oh and top of that, the engineer can heal it if it gets damaged. Remember when I said that cloakers are the most annoying unit in the game? Well I lied, it's actually the jetpackers. These guys able to launch themselves across the map with their jetpacks, and are equipped with a rocket launcher to make things worse. Their goal is to throw themselves at the player in a desperate attempt to hit the player at point black range, and it works. Because they are faster than the cloakers when they launch themselves, it is safe to say that the new number one spot goes to these guys. They also added two new machines. So now on top of the tank and the mech, we have the strider and the platform. The strider is rather easy and looks really cool. It is pretty much a turret with legs, so there isn't much to them other than that you can kill them with guns but an RPG is suggested because they are very effective against them. And finally we have the platform. This machine is the new behemoth of this game, and it is not an easy target. This machine is, like in the name, a platform with legs. The platform has a artillery launcher and a couple turrets. The platform is immune to bullets and an RPG can only deal damage by hitting the red tank on the bottom of it. These are very dangerous if you aren't equipped with a RPG, but luckily they often get stuck and can't move, which leads to the artillery not shooting, making the players lives a bit easier. 
If the developers would not have come out with a new update then this video would have been out a whole lot sooner but I hope you dummies enjoyed this video, I know it is information heavy and I'm trying to find a sweet spot where I can still make them funny, but until then enjoy and I highly suggest that you play this game and support the developers. Just don't do it when I'm making a video on it. Thanks for watching, now get out there and yeet some noobs. Goofy Uncle Production. I said right foot creep, ooh, walking with that eater. <laughs> Look around, stay low, make sure they don't see.